Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to cover frequently asked Spring Boot interview question. So let's get started. So the first question is, what is Spring Boot? Spring Boot is one of the Spring module. It is used to create standalone production grade Spring based application. Spring Boot is a lightweight framework. Spring Boot gives us the executable jar. These jars we can just run. We don't need any server, nothing. The servers and everything will be there inside the jar only. We just have to run it by using this java minus jar command. Okay. So now move on to the next question. Why Spring Boot is used? Okay. So to create a simple web application in framework like JSF or simple uh, Spring, we have to add so many jars. Like we have to add Spring jars. We have to add Spring core jars, then web jars, then server jars. Okay, so it will increase the time, right? So, but in case of Spring Boot, if we want to create a web application, we just need to add a simple dependency in pom.xml file. So that dependency is Spring Boot starter web dependency. Okay, so different ways to create this Spring Boot application and which way are you using in your project? So there are three different ways to create a Spring Boot application. First is Spring Maven project. So this in this you can create the Spring Boot application by using your IDE, whatever IDE you are using, like either it be IntelliJ or STS Spring Toolsuit. Okay. So the next way is Spring Initializer. So to create the Spring Boot application by using Spring Initializer, you have to go on this particular link, and from there you can provide your configuration like Java 8 and which version of Spring Boot and what all dependency you have to add. So this this how you can create the Spring Boot application and the third way is spring boot cli that is command line interface you can create the spring boot application by using the command line also so which way you are using in your project so i think 90 percent of the people are using this initializer only so in our project we are also using the initializer so this question basically depends upon uh, your project how you guys are creating the spring boot application okay so now move on to the next question what is the default port on which spring boot application Spring Boot Tomcat runs and how can we change the port of the server? So the default port is 8080 and we can change the port by mentioning in it in the application.properties file. So we will quickly, I'll quickly show you how we can change it. Okay. So we will go to the Spring Tool Suit. Okay. So this is my uh, Spring application. I created it. Okay. So to change the server port, I will just go to this application.property. This you will find under the resources folder. Okay. So we have to just mention server dot port okay equal to 9090 i want to start my server on 9090 port okay so i will quickly start my application and then show you it is running on which port by default it is always 8080 okay so my spring boot is started if you see tomcat started on port 9090 okay so this is how you can change the default port of the server to any other port okay so i'll close the application we will go move on to the next question so the next question is what is starter dependency in spring boot a starter dependency is nothing but a special dependency that aggregates commonly used dependency for a particular feature for example suppose you are building a spring based web application for this you will need to add dependencies for spring code spring core spring web jackson etc you will also need to get the right version for all these dependency, right? If we are creating a simple web application by using any other framework like JSF or Spring, so we have to do all these steps. Like we have to add the dependency of Spring Core, Spring Web, Jackson, and the jars, uh, the right version for all these jars, right? On the other hand, if you are using Spring Boot, it provides a single dependency called Spring Boot Starter Web. You just need to add this, okay? In case of Spring Boot, we will just add this dependency and everything will be there. Everything will be there. I mean, all these jars or all these dependency will be there. So this is basically called the starter dependency. So inside this starter dependency, we have so many transitive dependency. I'll quickly go to the Spring Tool Suit and I'll show you what I'm trying to say. Okay. So this is my Spring Tool Suit. We will go to the pom.xml. So this is my starter dependency for creating the web application. Spring Boot Starter Web. Okay, I will go to the dependency hierarchy. Okay, so I'll just close all this. So this is the dependency we have added Spring Boot Starter Web. If you open this, so there are so many dependencies inside that. Okay, so these this is the starter dependency. So these all are 
transitive dependency which are present in this dependency okay so now if you go to the spring boot starter this is also a starter dependency if you go inside this you will find spring boot spring core jar spring context spring boot log back slf so all these jars are present inside the transitive dependency okay so this is the benefit of using the spring boot you just need to add one transitive dependency it will add all the related trans uh, dependency of that particular project inside that only okay now move on to the next question what are all available starters okay so here we are talking about the uh, starter dependencies like what are available the starters i mean what are the different starter dependencies present so one is spring boot starter so this is the code starter and includes logging auto configurations support and yaml if you want all these things so just add this dependency then we have spring boot starter jdbc this starter is used for hikari cp connection pool with jdbc to create the connection pool with jdbc we just need this depend uh, starter dependency now the spring boot starter dependency web so this one i have just talked about i have shown you in the spring tool suit so this is that i'll not cover this now we have spring boot starter data jpa dependency it is the starter to use spring boot jpa with hibernate okay to add the J starter data jpa uh, spring data jpa uh, jars and all we need to add this dependency okay then it's a test if we want to rest the ga unit or mockito we need to add this dependency okay spring boot starter test dependency now move on to the next question can we replace embedded tomcat server in spring boot yes we can replace the default tomcat server with any other server okay so i just shown you right before this i just started the application okay so you saw right it was uh, running on the tomcat okay i'll show you again so okay so the application is started if you see it is running on tomcat dependency uh, on tomcat server okay so this is the default server if suppose i mean in this we have three default i mean three embedded servers are already there in this uh, dependencies spring starter web dependency there are three embedded uh, servers one is tomcat another is jetty then the third is undertow and default will always be the tomcat now suppose the question is suppose i want to remove this tomcat with any other server then what we will do okay so what we will do is we will exclude this i have uh, written the code i will just uncomment it and i'll tell you what exactly i'm trying to do okay so yes i have uncommented the code so inside this web dependency this uh, starter web dependency we have three uh, embedded servers right tomcat jetty and adato so now uh, by default it will always be the tomcat so i'm using this exclusion so i'm going to exclude the tomcat okay i have excluded the tomcat and now i will add the dependency of jt okay now after doing this you will be able to remove the uh, default uh, tomcat server to the any other server of your choice like jt or any other thing okay so after adding this uh, you just have to save and it will do some configuration okay and we will refresh the project again and now we will start it so i have started the project yeah if you see it is starting on jetty now before it was starting on the tomcat right so this is how you can change the default tomcat server to any other server of your choice okay now move on to the next question name some spring boot annotation which you are using in your project okay so some spring boot annotation which you are using like uh, we are using spring boot application that is uh, the main uh, annotation that will be on the top of the main class then we have auto wired for creating for auto wiring then we have rest controller this is present on the top of the controller class then we have bean annotation if we want to create a bean then we have a service annotation if we want to make a particular class as the service class or something then we can go for service annotation and if you want to make a particular class only for the repository only for the database thing then we can go for the repository okay next next move on to the next question so what is spring boot application annotation okay so just now we have talked about right so spring boot application and uh, spring boot application annotation is the main annotation it is the combination of these three annotation like enable auto configuration configuration and component scan i'll quickly show you to the uh, spring tool suit okay so if you go to the main class so this is the main class so this is there i mean this is the main dependency which is present on the top of the main class if you go inside this yeah so this dependency is the combination of three dependencies okay one is 
spring boot configuration then we have enable auto configuration then we have the component scan okay so this component scan uh, annotation it is used to scan all the beans and packages present inside the spring based application okay then we have enable auto configuration uh, it automatically configures your spring application based on java jars added in pom.xml okay then we have the configuration annotation so this configuration annotation will add uh, all the configurations in the uh, spring uh, uh, this container okay all the configurations of the beans and uh, what all uh, dependencies i mean what all uh, uh, you know the beans we have created like by using add service uh, at uh, at repository what all we have created this configuration will add all the all the beans of that in the spring boot container okay so in this video this much question only okay so if you like my video please subscribe to my youtube channel and uh, i will bring some more interview questions on spring boot there are so many questions so in this video to make the video short i just added 10 questions okay so yeah stay tuned stay happy stay safe thank you